This is A from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on Distracted by Diamonds. It's a baby doll. I've looked on the website. She doesn't have it listed anymore on her Etsy shop. But um, I don't know who the artist is. Nana Diamond Nana said that it was sherry baldy but i don't think it is because i looked on sherry baldy's site and i can't find this canvas so i don't think it is a sherry baldy um i don't know who the artist of this painting is if anybody knows let me know um it's not on her site but she has some um girl ones on her site right now that are beautiful that i really like but the prices are so high for me it's ridiculous so Anyways, because, you know, I live in Canada, if you don't know that already. So, today I'm going to be using my beautiful, beautiful Bella Art Dinner Gold Tray. Yeah, yeah, I finally got one. The brand new version. So, I'm going to be using this today. I don't, I don't like the lid. Like, some people have the lid. I just don't really use the lid. So, I got that and I'm going to be using uh, my pen from um, pen is it pen pals diamond diamond pen pals maybe maybe that's the name of the store I think I don't know it was gifted to me by Berta and I really like this pen because it's super fat and it has a flat side so it doesn't roll off the table and I usually just put my thumb on the flat side and it seems to really really I like it I like it a lot um so this is my favorite gnome that we've made so far I know I'm getting off topic but you know you wouldn't watch me if I didn't go on topic but look at this one and this one turned out like super super cool I hope the camera is not crooked I'm trying guys but you know my house is always crooked so uh I really like this one too. And then I got this new filament, it's called Galaxy Purple. Um, this is how it turns out. It's supposed to be glitter, but uh, I kind of see a little bit of glitter in it, but not as much as I thought it would be. And um, we tried to make it a uh, teepee, one of those teepee, um, I have one here in gray. One of these in it, and it keeps on stopping halfway through. Oh, I didn't see that string there. I'm going to have to cut it. Just saw that right now. I'll have to cut it. And there's one down here too. There's a couple down here. Oh, it went kind of like crazy over here. Look at, I got to cut these strings off. But anyway, it worked for this one. So... We thought it was a printer, but it's not the printer. It's just this filament. Now, whether it's because it's too heavy still and it won't feed through properly because it's brittle, I don't really know. But it did make this gnome really good. And I think that's all I made with it. I got so many gnomes now. I am almost being invaded by gnomes versus um, my penguins. <laughs> I kind of gave up on the bunnies, maybe because Easter is over, but I still have some bunnies. And yeah, so the last um, project he made was a soap dish, and that's what's sitting on the printer right now. And I didn't want to turn on the printer because it's loud, and I just want it to be quiet while we do this whip and chat this morning. It is really early in the morning. I feel like I'm getting a cold. Um... My sister Helen, you know, the one I always talk about that drives me crazy. She's got COVID. Um, I haven't been around Helen, but um, I don't know, my boss 
on the weekend was super super sick she said she did one she did a test and she came back negative but um my sister's house they had to do um her roommate did a test three times before it came out negative and i don't know if my boss brought over COVID to me at work and she wasn't wearing a mask and she was sicker than a dog and i hope i didn't catch COVID from her um yesterday i wasn't this my nose is running today i wasn't like this yesterday um but yeah um so it is what it is uh we're gonna get cracking now unfortunately i'm only on the one symbol left in this section and i'm gonna do it a checkerboard because i think it looks neater maybe it doesn't but in my head in my head i think it looks better like i don't know when i have a light color like this i feel like if i multi-place which would be so much faster right it looks multi-placed like you can tell do you guys understand what i mean like even here i did all single but yet yeah, i'm going cricket i'm really freaking crazy about this crap i'm not even joking so i gotta tell you about my date yesterday so me so when i was at work all the weekend um uh, my boyfriend had the weekend off well, he always has the weekend off, but his schedule is going to change soon where he's working the same days as me. But right now, he has the weekend off. So. <coughs> See? I think I'm getting sick, guys. So, I do apologize for coughing in your ears. If you have headphones on, I'm sorry. Um, don't wear headphones watching this video. Um, so, do -do 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 -do. what was I going to say? So, yeah, he he ca calls me, he's like, oh, we're going, we're going to go to the Stratford Festival um, tomorrow to see a play, Chicago. Now, if you guys all remember the movie Chicago musical play, um, of course, my daughter Sarah says we watched it, and I don't remember watching Chicago, the movie, but anyways, it is what it is. So I'm like, yeah, okay, like, I've never been to the Stratford Festival. Now, the Stratford Festival is just a theater that they perform um, shows at. Like, there's a lot of Hamlet and all those Shakespeare-y kind of things. And they have other shows, too. Obviously, they had Chicago, and it was... So we went there, and he bought... <laughs> okay, I'm going to get color first. I just don't want to talk. I want to actually do something I just gotta find it that's right here and then we can get going and chatting and I can start lying down some drills so he's like should I order this food box now I forget the name of it you guys will probably be yelling at it from the from your phones but it's like a food box that you get and it has like uh, a picnic for two or something like that he's like should I order it it's $45 and I'm like I don't care if you want so when we got there um I go well where do you go to get this box so he went and got it and it had like a lunch meats and it had crackers and it has some cheeses like swiss cheese which i don't really care for and this other cheese with like this white stuff all around it i don't know the name of that cheese but anyways and they had some pickles in the middle and uh this other thing with the pickles i don't know what it was but it was super sweet i don't know what it was anyway but the meats were like meats that i don't like <laughs> Which was the unfortunate part, like, I don't even know the names of them, but I don't like any of them. And then a little box of bread, and then they gave us two parfait waters. Like, have you ever had parfait water? It's freaking gross. It's the most grossest, disgusting, like, it's like carbonated water. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. And I'm like, really? This is what they give you? 
And then there's a girl sitting at a table beside me, like beside us, this young girl. She's like, five dollars for a pop? Like, that's outrageous. I can't buy anything here. And I'm thinking, oh, well, Clem's not going to want to buy a pop for five dollars because <laughs> that's just outrageous. So anyway, he's like, just drink the water. Like, I had a few sips, but I was like, ugh. And when they gave you like some Dijon mustard with it too, like, I'm like, is this like a posh, like, box for like people that are rich and this is what they eat? Cause it's gross. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, whatever. So, yeah. I then I went to the washroom, but I used like the washrooms at the front of the building that were the handicap ones because I th they had like a you know one of those things the tape things in front of the public washrooms and I'm like I don't think I can go down there yet so of course the theater department wasn't open this is just like in the foyer you had to wear your mask there and you had to show proof of vaccine and you couldn't take your mask off unless you're eating like you and sitting and eating somewhere you weren't allowed to take your mask off. So, and through the whole performance, everybody wore their mask. So that way I felt pretty safe, but the seats were like very congested in the theater. Like, um, at first I'm like, oh bonus, there's nobody beside me. But at the last minute, this old lady shows up. I'm like, oh. Mm. And so I feel like like with sardine, I didn't want to bother my boyfriend, you know, and he was sitting by this other lady that went there by herself, like, who goes to the theater by themselves? I guess, I don't think I could ever do that. But anyways, it is what it is. And uh, some girls were like dressed up in like 20s attire, you know. Like they really got into the show. Some girls in the audience. Um, it was pretty good. They have like a lot of old people there. Like a lot of old people go to the Stratford, Fe Stratford Festival. Um, it's where, you know, Justin Beeps is from. And then Club's like, well, we have some time to kill. Look up Justin Beaver's address in uh, in uh, Stratford. I'm like, he doesn't live in Stratford. Yes, he does. Him and his wife have it. I'm like, no, they flipping doped. And the only thing that came up was his grandparents' house that was for sale. And I'm like, and it's like all over the internet, like you can see the house. I'm like, he does not have a house in Stratford. Now, does he have family in Stratford? Probably. But I don't know, nor do I care. There's a museum there dedicated to him, which I did not see either. I don't know whereabouts it is because we went around Stratford for quite a bit. So we ended up going before the show. He's like, well, there's a chocolate factory up here. Let's go check it out. And it was like super, super nice. And it had some, but the, most of the chocolate was super expensive. But they had some individual ones that were like a dollar something or two dollars. So I bought some of that stuff. And uh, we bought some popcorn that had like caramel and walnuts and not walnuts, like almonds. And you know, it was really, really good. But I ate some last night when Club was into it. And I'm like, oh, I don't feel well. I should have ate it because it had too much sugar. And, uh, you know, darn it, I think I need to blow my nose. I gotta pause to blow my nose. I don't know if I'm gonna get through this whip and chat, but I'm trying my best and I got alive today. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I blew my nose. I feel a little bit better until it fills up again. <laughs> so, 
I don't remember what I was talking about. I was talking about Chicago and all that jazz. It was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it so, so much. The theater there at the Stratford Festival um, is an experience that you have to see for yourself. Um, every seat, you pretty much have a really good view. Like we were on the side of the stage, which, you know, it'd probably be better front and center. But still, like, where we were on the side of the stage, like, I could see them perfectly clear. You know, it's like, I think even the people in the balcony seats up the top probably could see really well as well. Just the way the theater is. Um, it's super cool. And, like, they go up and down the stage and they go through these doorways at the bottom and they come up. And I'm like, where are they getting from the back of the stage down to these entries. There must be like hallways down on the bottom or something. And then intermission came and I'm like, I really want a drink, I'm thirsty. He's like, well, we have that water. And I'm like, oh, I really don't want to drink that water. So he went, got me a pop and he got himself an ice cream and uh, six dollars for an ice cream bar which was crazy ridiculous anyways but then he couldn't bring it back into the theater and they're like five minutes till showtime so I'll like try to guzzle down this drink as much as i can because you know pay five bucks for it and uh they're selling alcohol there too I'm like how much is the alcohol twenty dollars for a drink like i didn't even understand like probably or ten dollars at least. I don't even know. But um I get back into the theater and on the second half they come from the top, like from where we just came from, and they're going down the sides like of the seats. All the girls and then the guys come like are the reporters and they flashy their cameras and they like like they're taking pictures of you it's really cute and uh that was fun uh her husband in the in the in the play was super funny it was like it had comedy to it so it was really really funny and it was like i really really enjoyed it anyway um, it was a nice experience. Plus, I've never been to the Stratford, Stratford Theater, so it was an experience for sure. And like, Clubs, like, I can't believe in your 48 years you've never been to the Stratford Theater. And I'm like, no, I've seen, like, shows. Like, I've seen a couple in London at the Grand Theater. But, like, I've never been to the Stratford Theater. Like if you're from Ontario and you know, like Stratford has, a, it's like, it's where it's at for theater kind of shows. So anyways, I totally enjoyed it. I really wanted to go to Animes, which is a, it's an Amish country. It's a restaurant and they make the, like, the best cheesecake you could have. And I really wanted to go buy a cheesecake, but I didn't have time because by the time we got out of there, it was like four, four something. And um, I had to be back in Strath to um, pick up Alyssa from work for seven. And the GPS said it'd be an hour before we got home or whatever. No, like not an hour. It'd take us till six o'clock to get home. So. I'm like, there's no way I can go to Animes because it's a little further out from Stratford, maybe another half an hour or so. So that was a no-no, couldn't do for another day. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the tickets were pretty expensive. I'm pretty sure he spent like 200 or more on them. And he told me it was my Mother's Day gift. So that's okay. I wasn't expecting what there's to get from him, but I'm like, um, it was really, really nice. And I really, really enjoyed it. And it was an awesome experience for sure. So we did that yesterday, except for the food box. 
you know, <laughs> it's an experience so I'll remember too. And I'm like, next time we come here, we're not ordering this box. We'll come early enough to have, you know, maybe lunch at a restaurant in Stratford or something. Because um, I'm sure there's nice restaurants along it. But yeah, it was really, really cool. And it was so nice, you know, to be able to go to a live performance, even though we all had to wear masks. It wasn't no big deal. Um, and you had to be vaccinated to go in there, which I am triple vaccinated. So, yeah, it, it was fun. My sister sounds horrible. Um, she called her doctor's office to see, because my sister has a bad heart. She called her doctor's office to see if she could get the pill that you get from Pfizer. Um, if you're a high risk person or something. And I'm pretty sure I watched a documentary saying that they are available to everyone, even though they, um, her doctor wouldn't give it to, her doctor wouldn't give it to her roommate, but he did give it to Helen because Helen has heart condition. Well, the drugstore refused to, refused to give it to her. And I'm like, if the Canadian government says they're not short in demand of it, why are they refusing people? This is what I don't understand. Like, that's bull crap. You have to be 70 years old to get it or have like, really like, if you're like a person that had like a transplant or something like that or the only people that are allowed to get it or if you've never been vaccinated. And I'm like, that is bull crap. When I talked to her yesterday, she sounded like crap. But you know, I have confidence. She's gotten both, she's gotten all three shots so far. So I think she'll be okay. It'll just be like a bad cold. And that's what I'm hoping. It will stay as. So she says coughing is like really, really bad. Um, I don't have that much of a cough. I just have a ready nose, but I'm pretty sure that's how it started for them. And uh, let's hope not. But I wasn't around them. I was around my boss though. And she only did one test. And uh, you know, how fair. She's like, I'm sick and I came to work. And I'm like, you're not supposed to come to work sick. That's what they keep on telling us. And yeah, you're here spreading your germs. And then, but you can sit in your office and suck calls all day, but we're not allowed to suck calls or, you know, cough drops on the floor. Like I walked into her office and all you could smell was like the smell of cough drops. And I'm like, she wasn't wearing a mask. So she was just spreading her germs all throughout the plan, all week long. So, not happy about that. But anyway, it is what it is for us to say. Not too much, guys. I only have one section left of the bees, which I'm going to finish today on my live. I did get a box of goodies from Jennifer of some of the prizes that everybody got. And I got some for myself that the vendors were graciously enough to donate to me as well. And one of them is Wee Wax and I'm so dying to try that, but I will try it on my live. So by the time you watch this, I've already tried it. So, um. I do use glue dots. I'm a hard believer in glue dots, but I will give other people's wax a try. Like, I do like super sticky patty wax, um, but I haven't used it. Ever since I found glue dots, I have not gone back to other waxes. I do like to use, um, not 
micro dots in here, I use putty. Um, I might, I don't know if you can use the wee wax in here. I'm gonna have to watch a video on wee wax because I know I've been always trying to get it and every time I go on it, it's sold out. And then when she puts it up, I'm usually at work. And if it's my day off, I forget. And um, I should really follow her on Instagram. I thought I did, but to see like maybe she puts it up there when she has it in stock. I don't really even know, but I haven't been able to get one. So super excited when I was able to get one from this collab to try it out and see what all the fuss is about and why everybody loves it so much. Uh, but yeah, so I got all that stuff to try out. Um, pay my last bit of the retreat. So that is done and over with. Uh, can't wait to go. Now I just got to save up money for, um, to spend money there. <laughs> <coughs> so I have a whole month and a bit to save up some money so I can go shopping. I already have $50 American in my purse that my boyfriend gave me for my trip. Um, so I do have $50, but he said, oh, you got to spend it on me for a gift. Like you want something me to bring back. I'm like, what am I going to bring you back from Mary Street? But I heard someone say that there's a chocolate store there. So I'll probably get him that. I'll probably get him like, I don't even know what, a hat maybe or something. I don't even know, but I got to buy him a present, I guess. Just don't know what it's going to be. Um, I did buy magnets for my, my little people, my, my diamond painting buddies. That's what I'm calling them. But, um, they haven't come in yet. I bought them from AliExpress because I haven't been getting in much luck with Amazon. Every ones I order from Amazon are too small or too big or blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, whatever. Um. Oh, Susan sent me a, such a cute video of her granddaughter. Um, diamond painting. And she's got her little penguins beside her diamond painting and she looks so cute i can't wait till luna does that like luna just wants to terrorize my room right now like she doesn't listen like susan's granddaughter listens because she's older right but she's so so cute because like, she's cute as a button and i love listening to her talk she's really cute she's helping grandma I'm not sure if she calls her grandma or nana diamond paint she was sitting in her chair and everything she basically took over Susan's chair you know she's like uh grandma you're fired <laughs> it's my turn maybe she'll be the moderator for my um oh for my live today since she's fired her grandmother out of her diamond painting chair. She's so cute. So, so cute. What else is new? <coughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I think you guys got that already. Um, I gotta do laundry today, which I really don't want to do, but I gotta do it. I have to work Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm off the weekend. And I will have a flirty Friday up. I'll probably film it early Friday morning and have it out for you guys sometime within Friday. I find that a lot of people watch flirty Friday, like after the weekend, which is fine. I don't care. As long as someone's watching it. <laughs> 
but you know I did thank goodness it's Friday last week with this project but I think I'm gonna do flirty Friday I just gotta find a juicy topic to talk about because you know flirty Friday is all about you know oh, oh you know what I could do I could talk about guess what's back on I don't know if any of you guys have watched 635 635 days on Netflix like it's super hot like a lot of sex and bondage and all that jazz it's back on starting Wednesday and of course I work Wednesday so I probably binge watch it this weekend but I don't understand because she, in the last episode she went into the bridge and then the car blew up or something happened or there was an accident so who's this chick now? Like, I might have to watch the last episode to see if it's the same girl. Like, I'm not sure if it's the same storyline. I think it's the same guy. But I don't really know. But I really like that show. It was a good one. It was a good one on Netflix. It was a good one. So it's that on Wednesday, if you guys have don't have anything to watch. I started watching this other one on Netflix. I can't even remember the name of it. It's a Polish series about this lady that her son, her son's friend dies and then her son goes missing and then she's trying to find her son. And there's a lot of Polish like rap music in the background, some of the scenes. And then when they're texting, you know, you have to read it because it's in Polish, so you have to read the subtitles. I always do dub over the voices, but you know, sometimes it irritates you because the mouths are, but I can't follow. I can't follow subtitles. Like, come on, guys, you know, I can't even follow the chat when I go live. I can't follow um, the subtitles for sure so yeah it is what it is and uh like I didn't think I'd like squid games because of all the killing and stuff but I actually really like that show um yeah so that's probably what I'm going to be doing this weekend and diamond painting, but I'm sure that my boyfriend will find us something to do that involves not diamond painting. It's like sometimes I just wanna, like he says he, he booked Friday off and I'm like, I just wanted one day where I could just sit and diamond paint all day without anybody bugging me. Because like yesterday was my day off, I didn't get very much diamond painting at all. Done. Like I started this section and that's all I got done all day yesterday. Like it was a whole day wasted that I could have been putting into my projects. And then um, I want to just sit one day on the weekend and just diamond paint and I don't like on Sundays I usually stop diamond painting early because I have to go to work for the Monday and like today too like probably after my live I probably won't diamond paint anymore because that's just the way I am unless I haven't got that I'll probably want to finish that section so that painting is done and then Friday I should be on Jennifer's live to close up this collab and don't forget, if you order Petey from Treasure Studio Arts with my discount code Lizzie15 um, and you fill out the form for the giveaway, you'll be entering the draw after April 30th. I'll probably draw it the week after for two $25 gift cards. Um, there's a cat scratching on what I don't know, I think. I don't know. I don't know what he's scratching on. But anyway. 
What else is new? I haven't had enough coffee today. I'm not bubbly. I'm not goofy. Well, goofy looking, but um, I'm not really. Well, I'm not in a bad mood. Just not my funny self today. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be my funny self, but uh, sometimes I just ain't so funny. Sometimes I wonder, did I just say that? Like, oh, there was a saying the other day that I say, and I'm like, if I ever say that on my channel, they'll be like, what the heck are you talking about? This? Oh, I can't even remember what it was. But I'm sure if it comes back to me, I will say it. You know, sometimes when I work on the table, I think about what I'm gonna say. Oh, my whip it chats. <laughs> Shows me how flipping boring my job is. Like, I'd be sitting there. Sitting there and uh, thinking about what to say. I'm back, guys. There's people up now. So it's called Rio Thompson's Candies since 1969. Um, this is all that's left of that popcorn stuff I was talking about. And you can see like the almonds. I think those are almonds. That's all that's left. And I only had a little bit. He ate it all last night. The surprise is not on a sugar high. <laughs> I clean my, I just, I just blew my nose and I'm already full again. Ooh. I tell you. Yeah, so those are the candies. Stay away from me. I'm not eating it. Sh super sugary. For should. are up to go to work now and I'm just sitting here diamond painting minding my own business oh did you hear the train the train went by I didn't I wasn't able to say all aboard because they already left so I have to wait for the next one trust me I still think it's going by Tell you the honest truth. Get a lot of trains in this town. And like you go it cuts right through the middle of town. So we had a derailment here once. Uh, a couple I don't know how many years ago that is now. I'm pretty sure it was already working at this job, so at least in the last six years so that's how long I've been working for this company unfortunately <laughs> just joking it is what it is oh they have they have a bus a bus to go to uh, St. Jacob's at work Guess what weekend it's on. I really wanted to go. But guess what weekend it's on. The weekend of the retreat. So, you know I won't be going on that trip. Which is kind of a bummer. Anyways, it would have been my weekend to work anyway. So, I wouldn't have been able to go. Unless I booked it off. But, yeah. I think when they do stuff like that, they should make them for both rotations. So have one trip for the one rotation and then have another trip for the other rotation. I think that's only fair. Not just have one day and then expect the people if they want to go to take the holidays and who even knows if they'll, like, they'll grant you your holidays because this one boss that I said 
with sick, she is very stickler about granting um, vacation time, and especially um, she doesn't like it when more than one person's on vacation at the same time, which really sucks because if my boyfriend ends up going on the same rotation as me, are you telling me we can never take vacation together? Because she won't allow it. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Yeah. So. But I'm sure her and her daughter-in-law could take the same time off. Just saying. Just saying. So, I think I have to blow my nose again. This is going to be all over the place. I don't think I got a long enough lip and chat to call it a day. Uh, I kind of wanted to finish this section, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Oh, Alyssa went to fit her prom dress. And I said they text when it's ready to pick up. She had to get it fitted, you know, altered. And she spent a lot of money on that. Um, she applied for OSA. Um, it's, a, it's a Canadian thing. If you're Canadian, you know what I'm talking about. And she's got... It estimated she'll get $9,000 in grants, $4,000 loan to give her a grand total, but my, my daughter said that's like an estimate. Um, I had to put in my income tax information and she's like, what did, and it says, what did you put online, what, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't friggin' know. She's like, what do you mean you don't know, you just do your taxes. I'm like, listen, child, like, I memorize what the lines are, so I had to look it up. I went to my notice of assessment, but it didn't have some of the lines they were asking for. And I'm like, I don't know, it says what I contributed to on my pension stuff, so I just went on my T4 and put the numbers on from the T4. Like, I don't even know what they want. You're the government, look it up. Like, it just makes me mad when they ask for the stuff. It's like, you got the computer right in front of you. Look it freaking up. <laughs> right? Am I not right? Like, the Canadian government sometimes, like, really freaking is irritating. Like, <clears throat> I've been audited before. And my auditing was my dependents. I had to show proof of my dependents. I'm like, really? You're the government. You know, you have the birth certificates. You know how many children I've had. Like, ugh, it's just an, a way to annoy you. The Canadian government likes to annoy the Canadian citizens. Just saying. I'm like, really? You know that I gave birth to three children. Like, ugh. It irritates me to no end. I really like my Bella Art and Nicole new tray. The only thing I don't like is this. <clears throat> but that's nothing, but you know. I really like this spout because I find that I get them back in my Harbor Freight container a lot easier than before. Before I'd have a lot of spill, spill, spill drills in that. No, I don't because they're like, I'm like, I don't care. I just go fast. But I'm almost done this section. See, you guys probably think, oh God, this chick always does checkerboard, but I can't help it. I just think it looks neater. Okay, 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 okay. And then, like, when it's a color like this, I have to do it, or it just looks sloppy to me. You know? I care what 
my finished project looks like. So. I don't like it to look sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy poo. Mm -hmm. I finally, I went to, oh, after we came back from Stratford, I didn't want to cook, so I ended up going to McDonald's. I was like, oh, why don't you order on the McDonald's app? I'm like, ah, no. I will order through the drive-thru. Thank you very much. And I actually got a Big Mac with meat this time, which was a bonus. He had nuggets. Oh, and uh, we will, first I went to Timmy's. I had to go pick up Alyssa. And uh, I got an iced coffee, because she makes good iced coffees. And uh, then I decided I went to McDonald's ordered another drink. She's like, why did we get these drinks? She brought a drink from work. I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm always thirsty. I'll end up drinking both. And I did. I did, I did, I did. I could use that iced coffee right now. But Alyssa makes it the best. I don't know what she does different than the other girls. But uh, she does it the best. She got a secret. I'm not quite sure what it is. Yeah, I think after I'm done this section, I'm going to call it a day because I am under the weather. Hopefully, I don't get worse before my live. I think I'm going to go lie down. For a little bit. I hope this doesn't ruin. Well, I don't really have another video to film until Friday. But yeah. I think I might do a rabbit test just to make sure I'm good to go. With that said, I will talk to you guys all later. Till next time, take care everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.